Hi everybody. I want to do a flip through of um, a, a bee journal I had done, oh, before COVID. So we're talking a few years ago. And it was a, it's, it's, a, I used a, a book that was given to me by my brother-in-law and it's the most, it, it's a beautiful book. So I did take out the, the, the writing block the book block and I made it into a journal. So because I had just finished this project, which we will do a tutorial, a tutorial yet. Um, so stay tuned for that. I had some people ask me if I could share this as well, because I had mentioned I had done a bee journal. So let's go through it. First of all, just look at this. Is it not the most beautiful book ever? It's got a plate on it. ABC and XYZ of bee culture. 1935 edition it's just so beautiful that's the bee on the front so i think <clears throat> this was probably one of my first spine dangles um it's not my gift i uh but it was fun there's a cute little bee clip on here i think that came i'm not sure where i got this actually but it was in my stash, so I put it on there. So just some ribbons that I used, I think, throughout the journal. I haven't gone through this journal in a very long time, so I'm going to enjoy it as well. So I have the ribbon tie. <clears throat> and so, again, this is like I was just new at making journals, more or less. So it'll be interesting to see what's in here. It's been a while, so... Anyways, let's just go through it. Oh, and I used I used uh, a, the bee a bee kit by Dawn from the Book Vandal Shop. This is her kit. Isn't it beautiful? I had just finished one uh, design team using Took's Took's craft table, her bee kit, which is also as stunning. So, so um, yeah, here's the front cover. And I think there are three signatures. Okay. I won't take too much time. I'll just. Oh my goodness. Wow. I guess I used, did some collaging. Now, some of these pages are, were from the original book. So I wanted to incorporate. Yeah. So that would have been what it just incorporate 1935. So yeah, I, I did use some of the page contents oh and I made a B envelope probably stuck together oh no it's coming out look at that <laughs> it's fun to look back on what some of the work we do hey Yeah. yeah, so her kit is just gorgeous. You don't always have to, oh, and there's backing too. You don't always have to um, decorate the tags and stuff because she does such a beautiful job. So I clearly made a lot of my own ephemera using prints from the kit. Sweet honey, the detail, beautiful. The flower doesn't dream of the bee, it blossoms and the bee comes. I use that, I think that's one of uh, Took's sayings on one of her prints too, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe it was just a, a, one of the pieces that I had in my stash. So these are some envelopes. The honey that's dripping. Oh, so beautiful. Oh, 
This looks like a flip up. Surprise! I even surprised myself. No cluster. Fun. That's signature one. This is signature two. Looks like I made a stacked book page pocket. And some in behind yet. Oh, wow. Lovely. What have we here? Oh, so that would have been from the book. Um, it was like a bee encyclopedia, really. So I used, I guess, uh, the definition or the uh, the alphabet page would, I guess, starting with A. Are the ABCs of stamped top loading page pocket and some various elements? So I made a little uh, ticket tuck there, huh? Cute. Lots of writing space. Now, uh, what were these from? So cute. But I think these were tucked in here somehow, maybe. I'm not even sure. Can't recall. So I'll just leave them here for now. A little top cluster. Beautiful. Dawn has done some pretty beautiful ki uh, kits, I'll tell you. Oh, and this would be from one of my uh, old children encyclopedia books. Or di dictionaries, I mean. Huh, cute. Using original papers. Another bead angle. Writing sheets are beautiful. Mason jar tucks. Bingo. Journaling card element. Oops, some collagen on the back. Page pocket tuck. I still like to make these. Who doesn't? Oh, yeah. Very cute. Fun, fun, fun to go through some old journals made a while back. Ooh, quite the cluster here. Okay, let's see. Anything come out? Hmm, is it just all stuck down? Okay. I don't usually do that, but that's fine. Or, yeah. I 
think it's just a, a collage of B elements. This um, page edging that I've got throughout, I got off the free domain on the internet and then I just cut out portions of the honeycomb back it with brown bag. Oh, a little. I like I like these pockets. Uh, I'm not sure what you call them, but there's like slits in them and then you can just put your little tags and stuff. I think. Oh, there, there we go. Okay, I'll go through this faster. Oh, I made a... Oh, I haven't made one of these for so long. It's um. What do you call it? A shaker. Oh, not too much shaking in there, but I can see the little jewels that I put inside made it into a writing spot. It's just an envelope. Hmm. I have not made one of these for a long time. See, I'm feeling inspired. With each journal I make, I usually do new things and then I forget the old things that I once did. Specimen cards. Okay, now we're on the last signature. A large journaling card. Looks like I might have used file folder. Gorgeous. Did a lot of ribbon topper things too, by the looks of it. And another altered envelope. Oh my goodness, love envelopes. I love altering envelopes. I know most of you do as well. Look at that, just perfectly fits in there. <laughs> oh, flip out. Where is it? No, it's not a flip out, it's an attached. I won't take it apart, but. Oh, it is an envelope that falls over the side. Another little cluster here. Oh, we're caught here. Not sure where this was, but. Another dangle. So I just, looks like I just glued some plastic, probably a cereal bag or something, and I put, oh no, it doesn't come out. Okay, so it's just, I guess, an element from the, the internet, I believe. Tickets, another tag, middle of the signature display. Beautiful, beautiful. I guess at this time, um, I wasn't doing anything on the uh, wax thread, which I do now. I usually put something, adds a little something to it. Like a little dangle here. Another original sheet from B. Of course, that's fitting. Another dangle. Oh, another multi page pocket tuck. So 
So I guess I took this from the encyclopedia too. Loss of, loss of queen. So yeah, there's some information in here. Okay, so this was there. And I made a little tag. I don't know if they go in there. Oh, yeah, they go behind. Okay. Wow. Cute. Oh, wow. Another page pocket. I guess I was obsessed. What have we got here? Okay, let's have a look. So I made some... Oh, see, there's my angles. When my angle obsession began, I guess. Okay, let's put this stuff all back here. What have we got? Do we have a pocket there? No, we have a pocket here and a pocket here. I think. Where did the other pocket go? Maybe I put two in there. And then both back here, I guess. And this goes in there as well. A little tight, but I'll just leave it out for now. Wow, this is a large altered envelope I guess it's just a, like I made it into a tag because there's nothing that comes out huh well there you have it this is that beautiful bee encyclopedia book I still have the, the block I've got it tucked away but uh, yeah, very special, very special book given to me from my brother-in-law. So I hope you enjoyed this little flip through. I'm not sure I like this very much, to be honest. I mean, the color is, it works, but I'm not sure why I use this. But we'll just tie it back up. And yes, so today is Tuesday. Uh, tomorrow I'm out of my craft room, and, but I'm hoping on Thursday that we can do a we can do the tutorial of how to create this file folder um, flip creation. I hope I'll remember. I just randomly put this together, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. Okay, guys, thanks for stopping by, and I hope you have a wonderful day.